This video will not have many or any links below concerning the video subject. I'm doing this as a breakup video. If I've done a, a video and done three or more takes and they've all fucked up, I'll do a video on a completely unrelated subject to clear my head and to get it to where I'm not in the same zone where I keep making mistakes, or at least try to. Excuse me. Poor man's government wipe of a computer. Now, this might strike people as being something wrong to discuss. You might have a problem with it. You might get angry at me for some weird reason, but this is a technical subject. I have a computer. I don't want anyone to get my data off of it. I need to erase the computer's hard drive, reload the operating system, sort of like master resetting your phone before you sell it. Then you're told you have to do a government wipe and so many passes. You don't have to. What you do is you load, uh, what you do is you erase the computer if you can, and load it with innocuous or unrelated data. Can't be about you. I used to give people some advice on this subject, but I'm going to tell you the easiest way to do this. Don't empty your recycle bin. No. Tell your computer, you're going to have to look up how to do this on each computer. Tell it not to empty the recycle bin until your computer is literally unable to function. This causes it to overwrite information from a year ago very easily because as you dump things in the garbage and refuse to empty it like you're supposed to, it overflows and it covers up, it overwrites most of the hard drive space. At that point, the hard drive is now occupied with your operating system and the garbage can. When it says you have to empty the recycle bin, you tell it to do so. And emptying a recycle bin just means it just says it's empty. The overwritten area on your hard drive is still overwritten. And as long as it's innocuous shit that nobody would ever have a problem with you having, or it has nothing to point back to you, you're fine. And that's it, best case scenario. If it's erased emails where, or, or you typing up documents where you're telling someone, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, and you don't want them to see it, they're still going to be there. But that means it's overriding last year's when you wrote up documents saying, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, last year. This allows you to effectively overwrite the information on your hard drive, which is just as good, actually better than government overwrite, gov wiping. And it only contains some information that might be considered sensitive to you. Now, a way to get away with doing this without the computer interrupting you is every time you want to erase something, you throw it in a directory called delete this on your desktop or wherever. That means you throw everything in this directory so it won't be able to erase it until you run out of room. Then you click delete this and it says it's erased. All it does is it frees up the same amount of space. Now the other method I have to bring up here is if you're trying to do an operating system install on a hard drive, you erase it and install it. All it's going to find is that older data. But how do I overwrite that? Now you have to create a file set. One of them is to do a real wipe of your hard drive. No, you don't have to do anything that's going to take a long time. Just write zeros to it. <clears throat> a hard drive that you buy these days will have a function that you can activate that tells it to do the work of overwriting the hard drive. All it does is write zeros to the hard drive as fast as is mechanically possible. That's better than anything you're ever going to do with a piece of software, and it doesn't require much of an operating system. DBAN, DBAN, is a piece of software you can download. You boot it up off of a floppy a thumb drive, or a CD-ROM drive and tell it access the hard drive's ability to erase itself and tell it to do so. And if you're going to get rid of or reuse a solid-state hard drive, that's the only way you should do it. Once it's done that, you have to then reload an operating system on it, which you should. It doesn't matter if you register it or not. I'd recommend you don't. Reload the drive, and then that's it. If it's overwritten the drive, you're good. I wouldn't recommend any other method anymore. If the drive doesn't have the ability to overwrite itself, DBAN has the ability to write zeros as fast as mechanically possible to it. There's also an option in another one where you write the software DBAN to the hard drive until it to auto-kill itself. Works just fine. Now, the poor man's method for this is then, if you want to do this, is to throw a bunch of innocuous data, again, data that doesn't concern you, but a bunch of junk onto a drive by plugging it in on an external drive and copying all of your d uh, erase this files, all the stuff you want to erase, to it so it has, quote-unquote, the appearance of a bunch of data, but none of it's useful. Now, that's for plausible deniability? No, it's so that a person looks at it and says, oh, it's full of junk.
if they bother trying to recover anything. If, however, it's written as zeros and it's not a brand new drive, they may interpret that as being a drive that has been re, re, uh, re, uh, remanufactured or re, you know, redone, and they might interpret it as you selling um, defective hardware. Having it show up with something but nothing really pointing to anybody is actually better. That's if you want to sell the hard drive and somebody gives a shit. Also, and this is absolutely about the FBI, NSA, and everybody else, if your drive has a bunch of junk on it, but it doesn't point to you, it may seem suspicious, but nobody's going to be able to make that argument in a court of law. And more importantly, it's not presumed that you're trying to cover up anything. If a person actually committed a crime, they would melt the hard drives down or burn them in the case of solid state drives, which I'll say right now. And any criminal knows that you just melt the damn thing or burn it or both. Uh, there is a method for turning a hard drive's aluminum into thermite. So it doesn't just melt it, it burns it. And yes, you have to burn the chips even on a mechanical hard drive. But when it comes to dealing with, well, not the FBI, but lawyers, emphasis added, the drive has to look as innocuous as a jury would see. And this is where we get into not Hillary Clinton level erasure, which looks like an idiot, but normal person erasure, which is you didn't erase anything, you just emptied the recycle bin. If you just tell a hard drive you're erased and quick format it, which takes a million times less time, honestly, these days, you're better off. If you load the drive up, whether it's solid state drive or not, all the way full of garbage, and then tell it to erase itself, or tell it tell it that it is erased without actually writing anything to it, and then dump an operating system on it. That is the most common, lackluster, low-grade, least secure method for doing it. But if it has nothing on it but garbage that doesn't point to anybody, that will look as innocuous as possible. And you can also put on it, yeah, I did a poor man's gov wipe. I dumped garbage on my drive, and then erased and told it to quick format it, and then reinstalled an operating system, and then when it asked me for the serial number, I shut it down, and that's good enough. It'll boot up, it shows the drive works, and if anybody really pokes around, I'm not going to have any information on there, it'll just show random garbage. How do we acquire random garbage? Welcome to the internet, and more accurately, welcome to YouTube and what I'm doing right now. If I set my computer to record max resolution with this camera, it's not very high res, by the way, and tell it not to erase it when it runs out of room and dump it over to this other hard drive until it's full. I have a hard drive I can copy from to copy to here. It takes longer than just overwriting the drive, but it's more innocuous looking. Now, why would a person do that? So that you don't have any information you have visible. Number one, it overwrites your data. Number two, even if it fails to overwrite it, they're going to find a bunch of files that might be more interesting. You talking to yourself on camera, or a bunch of porn, or a bunch of photos, cat pics, videos from YouTube, any random garbage dumped onto an external hard drive, specifically, not a thumb drive. Please make it a mechanical drive. It's easier to do this. Fill it up to the maximum until you have like a couple of K bytes left, then throw on photos, random shit from the internet until it's full. And if you just drag that over to the hard drive you're erasing, put it on another cable, after you've quick formatted it, it will be innocuous. Make sure you use an older formatting method to where it doesn't create hidden sectors and, and hidden directories. That's what it will do on anything beyond Windows 7. Okay, don't do that. Uh, or load Linux and do the same thing. The only thing uninnocuous would be that it's completely filled with garbage and the operating system was written to it, which is not innocuous, right? Well, no, it is. It Again, if anybody does a data recovery, even if it was technically possible with some mass spectrometer out of, out of Half-Life to detect what you had on there, they're going to be more busy looking at the cat videos or porn, depending on your tastes or lack of it. And why am I advising this? There's a couple of court cases where someone having a brand new hard drive that they'd never loaded anything on looked suspicious. You gov-wiped it. You can tell on the hard drive if you actually analyze it properly, which the FBI avoided bringing that up, that it had never been started more than a couple of times. It had a mean time between failure and hours of usage listing on it. All the stats were there, but they hid it. The defense attorney had to say this drive was never used since it was made. 
It's on a shelf with dozens of them, so the person would never have to buy hard drives again, hoping they wouldn't go bad sitting on a shelf, and only started them up by powering them up once in a while without actually opening them or starting off of them. The guy almost went to prison for buying extra hard drives because he was accused of erasing and destroying evidence that he didn't have. He was accused by a company of being a large-scale pirate, and this was in another country. He bought a bad, a whole bunch of hard drives in the old days, and just, I mean, they had the new hard drive smell and everything, and they accused him of erasing them, gov-wiping them. You use D-Ban. No. Also, it should be noted that the way the hard drives are, are created and set when they're sold wasn't D-Ban-like, but they made the accusation anyway. And then another case, a person overriding the entire hard drive with no op system, that looks suspicious. That was probable cause. They broke into the guy's house and fucked with him. But they had to admit that they were bullshitting at that point. And that was a drive that he has, a second drive, for doing video recording like I'm doing. He was a YouTuber. And then he needed to, and he said in a YouTube video, this is what saved his ass, he had to take the data drive that was used for holding my videos, quick format it, and load Windows 7 on it. Because he keeps using Windows 7 like I do. And that was it. That was all it took. And they showed up, because they saw him say that, because they knew they could interpret that on purpose and lie. So, here's my advice again. One, make sure you have an external hard drive or two. Two, try to format them in such a way they do not have any, any hidden spaces that you cannot overwrite. Next, keep writing to them until they're full. Because that way you've written to the drive once by the time it's full. Instead of rewriting one area over and over again. I should throw that in. Next, have a hard drive around that has nothing about you on it, but has a bunch of garbage on it. Random videos off of YouTube are really good for that. Uh, photos, cat pictures, cat vids. You could even throw porn on it. doesn't matter. It just has to not be about you or anything unusual. It should be the generic stuff. If you're going to put porn on it, put on vanilla porn. Or, you know, dance videos. Anything. I'm, I say porn because if they don't find porn on your hard drive, yes, this was used. We found no porn on his hard drive, therefore he must be lying to us. That was really done to somebody. Because he had a hard drive he didn't load porn on. didn't matter that it was the work hard drive and it was a database. It didn't have porn on it. I love it when prosecutors get desperate. But you have this drive, at least one drive, with a bunch of random files on it. And then if you want to make a hard drive not able to hold your information, quick format it in such a way that all of the drive space is available to write to, very important, and then dump the files on until you run out of space. And then if you've got like a certain number of K bytes left, keep putting on little files until you get it done. Sort them by smallest to largest and copy them over until it runs out of space. In the first place, you copy them over uh, largest to smallest. This has an extremely high likelihood of overwriting all data. It is not perfect, but it makes it to where the person will say, somebody quick formatted a hard drive with a bunch of garbage on it, put an operating system on it. This is going to take too long to examine. Do we have any other indication this person broke a law where this is going to make any sense? No. Well, it's completely generic shit. He's got cat vids, uh, uh, a couple of porn videos, a couple of cartoons on. What are we going to get them on? Oh, should we look between the bits? Should we look between the files to find a fragment that says the word the? Because that's maybe all that's left. And again, you can also write this as one giant zip file by telling it to keep filing on, and it'll literally fill it up bit for bit full. Or you can tell the drive to format itself by writing zeros, which is its default behavior, zero fill, and that will work. So why have I done this video? It was occurring to me that I keep erasing my recycle bin like a good boy when I should leave it fill up until the drive's full and then erase it because that way everything I did last year, no one will know what I did last summer. And also because... I'm doing more wear and tear over on this part rather than just writing to the whole hard drive and making it not age as much. If you write to the drive all the way through once and then erase the empty unnecessary garbage, you're doing less damage and less wear and tear to your hard drive. And that's finally the biggest reason for doing this. In every way, shape, or form, this is really the best way to do it as best practices. Stop emptying your recycle bin and start using your machine. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.